important. I really wish my music would work. That sucks. What the hell? Oh well. We will go. Okay. That's gonna suck! It's gonna suck with no music! Ah! ah. Okay. Anyways. Can you just play it out loud? No, because it sound it sounds terrible on Zoom for you guys. <laughs> I, I use an external and use my phone for Spotify. I yeah, I film on my phone, so I can't. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. It's all good. Well, it'll just be a new mental challenge. That's all. <laughs> you have a playlist, right? So the music is there for you guys. We are gonna get going. So let's go ahead. If you've got a mini band, I know we always use hip slings, but if you've got a mini band, go ahead and grab that. So you're gonna place the mini band right around the arch of your feet, okay? From here, we're gonna be kicking the legs up and out to the side. Now, with this pattern, you can hop into it whenever you get there. I'm giving you a side profile so that you see that we're still in, uh, oh my God. <laughs> A hip hinge. I lost my words. I got all flustered. Um, so that we're still in a hip hinge and the leg is slightly bent. We are not going into a completely straight leg, okay? Stay in your hip hinge. We're here for about 15 more seconds. If you got into this a little late, it's okay because we'll be coming back to it. We're here for 10. Core stays active. Stay in your hip hinge. We have four, three, two, and one, take the band off, and we are just going to kind of lightly jog in place. We're doing this because I think we need to do this a little bit more before we get into like kind of jumping stuff, if we do any jumping today, which actually now that I think about it, we might be fine. But anyways, stay here for about 20 more seconds. Just a little kind of trot in place. Beautiful, get those arms involved. We're going to come right back to the band. We're going to do this two more times through. Last eight. Last six. Five, four, three, two. Right back into the band. We have about 45 seconds moving this band side to side. Great. Again, external rotation as always. Slight hip hinge. Core is nice and tight. Beautiful. Side to side, the torso can lean as you extend leg up to the side. Now, if you look at your knees, make sure, right, they're not tipping in. We wanna abduct and stay in that external rotation. Ooh, what a burner. Keep at it. We've got about 10 seconds left right here. Driving out as much as you can. If it's getting a little smaller, that's fine. We have three, we have two, one, band comes off. Again, little kind of jog in place for about 45 seconds as well. Now, if you don't want to do low impact, you can actually go ahead and lift the knees a little bit. Whatever works for you. Great, keep it up. We're gonna stay here for about 25 more seconds. Going where you need to go. Next day is nice and long. Relax the shoulders. Maybe even go into some loose arms for a second. We're here for 10. Beautiful. Move those feet. We have five, four, band coming on. One more time. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and step into the band. All right, clock is on about 45 seconds right here, going side to side. Can you hear that? No? Awesome. <laughs> I've been saved. I'll just keep it on really low. <laughs> I felt so empty. There was such a void. <laughs> There's only so much you can do in your living room alone, right? You need like a little help. We'll go for five, four, three, 
two, one. Again, a little jog in place. That should feel really kind of interesting, kind of right in that side hip area. After taking the band off, you should feel almost like a little bit of a Charlie horse in there. So right now we're basically shaking it out. If you've never done empty arms, give it a try. I know it looks weird, but empty arms are like amazing for your joints, specifically your upper body joints. So it's just like a, just doing what they do as you move. And then you can bring it back. Let's stay here for 15 seconds. Let's try to lift the knees a little higher. Good, for three, for two, and one. Let's go ahead and warm up our core and our shoulders and our wrists a little bit. So I want you to briefly, in a quadruped position, walk up the hands. Remember, whenever we do this, we're kind of alternating the position of our fingers with each step. Putting as much weight onto the hands as we can handle without experiencing pain. We're looking for just some gentle stretching. We're here for 10. Nice work. We'll come into the plank in five, in four, three, two, and up into a plank position. 20 second hold. Lift your kneecaps, squeeze your butt. Think of turning your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. Something else that helps with that is imagining you've got a mini band around your ankles and you're pressing that mini band out. Hug the shoulders down, we have 10. Nine, we'll go into 20 shoulder taps. Coming up next in six, five, lower core lifts, three, two, here we go, side to side for two, three, four, five, six, seven, lower core stays lifted, nine, 10. 10 more for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that plank position, 20 seconds, and then we'll come out. Again, lift your kneecaps, turn your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. Neck is in a nice neutral position. Stitch up your inner corset. We have 10, nine, eight, spread out your fingers. Four, three, two, let's walk back, hands walking back. From a forward fold, bend your knees, come into a bit of a Buddha squat. Not a bit, but come into a Buddha squat. Raise your hips back up, sit them back down. Now when you raise your hips, if you need to keep those knees slightly bent, that's fine. We're here for five more. Just a bit of an extended warm up today to make sure that we are ready to go into our hip work. We have two more. Raising the hips up, lowering back down. Let's rise up, roll up. And I'd say now we're probably pretty good to go. Okay, so we are doing shorter sets today, but we are working for four rounds. That is perfect, it's already set. Okay, cool. Um, yep, awesome. So first one, we're gonna demo without weight, but we're gonna have a weight in one hand. We're going to squat, curl, squat, and curl. Your goal is to not go into this position, right? Or to overcompensate and go way over here. We wanna be as centered as possible. That's called the suitcase squat. So it's as if you're holding luggage, you're squatting down, curl, squatting down and curl. 30 seconds on this side. We're then gonna go into tuck outs over a weight. So what that means, if you have an object, you can't see that, if you have an object, we start in a tuck, we're gonna kick, pull in, kick, pull in, kick, okay? If you don't have an object, imagine. <laughs> Use your imagination. Then we'll stand up, we're gonna go into the other side. The final piece that we're gonna do is a rotating plank with a row. So rotate the feet, row the weight up, put it on the floor, rotate, switch to the other side, side to side, okay? Only 30 seconds, but in something like that, I don't want you to rush it, okay? All right, 
four rounds, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds to rest. We are taking off. I can hit the button. In five, in three, two, and here we go. So we squat and curl, squat, curl. Now if you're competitive with yourself, count your reps so that on the other side, we match it. I wouldn't say necessarily a goal of beating it, but maybe each round, try to beat your total. Breathe, six seconds left, come on. We have three, we have two, one. Tuck outs, so weight or object on the floor, we have six seconds to get there. Taking off in three, two, here we go. Kick, pull, kick, pull, try to Move the chest up and down. Nice work. Kick, pull, kick, pull. Nice. Good. We have 15 seconds. Next day is nice and long. So, so good. Come on, we have 10. Breathe. Beautiful. We have three. We have two. And one. 10 seconds. I'm just gonna stop playing with my shorts because my legs have eaten them already. Two, here we go. Squat, curl, squat. See, I noticed this this morning after switching out of one pair of shorts, I literally wound up in this position instantly. It's the quads, it's my quads. If they didn't come out so far to the front, the shorts would not creep up. If I had no quads, the shorts would stay in place. But I get to hike and do fun shit. Good, rotating plank. So the quads can stay and the shorts can go. All right, ready, two, here we go. Rotate your feet, row and reach. Carefully place it down, rotate and reach. Beautiful, good. 20 seconds remaining. 15, you've got it, come on. 10 seconds remaining. If you feel comfortable, you can pick up your pace. We have three, we have two, and one. Right back up to the top. In six seconds, suitcase squat with our curl, two. And here we go, core stays tight. Curl, come on. You don't have to move at my pace. It is an option to try to keep up or to blow past me. Always an option to move at a slower pace as well. Come on. Beautiful, come on. We have three, we have two, one. Tuck out over our weight. Taking off in five. In three, two, here we go. Kick and pull, kick, pull. Try to keep your big toes together. Come on. 20 seconds. So, so good, 15. Use your hands, a little bit of support behind you. Beautiful, come on. You got it. Squeeze those big toes together. We have three, we have two, and one. Suitcase on the other side. Take it off in three, two, here we go. Core stays tight. You're finding a centered position with each squat. Keep the shoulders pulled back. Don't let this one come towards the floor, right? Keep those shoulders even the whole time. 10 seconds. Come on. Breathe. Come on. We have four. Rotating plank. Two. One. Woo! Nice work. Rotate. Careful. Precise. Row and reach. Three. Two. Here we go. Nice work. So, 
really focusing on core engagement, pushing nice and tall through your shoulders. Rowing that weight up very close to the body, controlling it down in the same fashion, nice and close. Seven seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. All right. Round three. Suitcase. Woo! Three, two, here we go. Just two more rounds. Can you pick up your pace? Come on. Beautiful. Come on. Nice, Meredith. There you go, Melissa. Come on. You got it. 10 seconds. Come on. Push. Let's go. We have three. We have two. And one. Yes. Tuck out. Take it off in four. Three, two. Here we go. Kick. Pull. When I say pull, I'm referring to pulling your knees up towards your chest. Let's go. Come on, 20 seconds. Look at your belly. Make sure it's pulling in. Love on whatever else you see there. I've got the rolls too. We love them. Three, two, one. Remember, they happen for everyone. We're not looking at the rolls necessarily. We're looking to pull the core in. Three, two, here we go. Five, push, come on. There we go, come on. You got it. Belly stays tight. Come on, push. 15 seconds. Come on. How centered are you? Chest stays upright. Come on. We have five. We have three, two, one, rotating. Second to last time with this one. We take off in three, two, here we go. Come on. Nice work. Come on. 15 seconds. We're going to plow through one more round. You have one last chance to perfect, to improve before we let go of this one and move on. Two and one. If I had a heavier weight on my last round, I'd go for it. But I don't. So I'm going to move a little faster. Woo! Here we go. Come on. How centered can you be? Dip, push, dip, push. Come on. Control your down, power up. 15 seconds. Come on. Final time on this side. Come on, push, push. Three, two, one. Tuck out. Final time on these. Woo! Three, two, here we go. The closer you get to your object, the more you have to pull your knees in. 20 seconds. Come on. Pull them in. Use that lower core. Lift and pull. Big toes squeeze together. Come on. Pull your core in. We have three. We have two. One. Oh man. You got it. Here we go. Suitcase with a curl. Go. Come on. Tight through the belly. Come on. Push. Push. You've got this. Come on. Push. Push the floor away. Stand up quick. Keep the shoulder nice and active. 10 seconds. Come on. Push. 
almost, we have three, we have two, and one, rotating, then we get a break, three, two, here we go, feel and reach, control and twist, come on, so strong, you've got this, 15 seconds. Come on. Beautiful effort. Seven. Come on. We have three. We have two. And one. Take a quick little breather. Whew. Nice work. That was fun. Okay. While I'm going through this, if anything is tight, you feel like you need to work anything out, go for it. We're gonna go into, where's my towel? There we go. We're gonna go into another set, same time and format. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna start with jump squeeze. Now, when I say jump squeeze, you can go as deep as you want or as uh, shallow as you'd like. But the point is every time you jump, you squeeze, jump, squeeze. So you're trying to squeeze your legs together like squeeze, right? They always land back here. We've done ones where we do this. That is, of course, an option. But we're gonna try to be a little faster. So we're gonna jump, squeeze, jump, squeeze, okay? Trying to cross over each time a different leg. We're then gonna go into everyone's favorite, break, dance, or sit up. For the first round, I will move nice and slow. What it is, if we are gonna start with the right hand, we sit up, put the right hand on the floor, lift your hips, step back, we tap, tap, step the left foot forward, right foot through, I'll break it down with you, okay? If you are curious after this, there is a video on YouTube so that you can kind of get better at it, okay? Then we're gonna go into a simple weighted side to side curtsy. Weights here, we're trying not to come all the way up today. Staying low, final piece on your forearms. Tap, 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 right? So a way to bring the heart rate down before we bring it back up. All right, take it off in five seconds. Jump squats, still thing, four rounds. Three, two, here we go. So, squeeze, squeeze. You can point your toes. <laughs> there you go, cross them over. Don't just hit the heels. Come on, there we go. Jump and squeeze, cross, cross. Come on, you have seven seconds. Come on, two and one. Getting ready for break dancer. Start on your back. Right hand to the floor. Three, two, sit up. Right hand on the floor. Lift your hips, step right foot back, left foot back. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Left foot forward, sneak the right through. Lay it down, left hand to the floor. Left leg sneaks through. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Step the right foot forward, sneak the left through, lay it back down, right side. We tap, tap, sneak through and rest. Don't worry, go ahead and rest, you'll get it. Weighted, side to side curtsy. Three, two, here we go. Remember, we're trying to stay low. If you want, you can kind of hop side to side. You have about 15 seconds left. Come on. So if we hop, it's definitely more of a skater. Come on. Plank position is next, so let's get those legs burning. Two and one. Okay. Plank position, forearms. Tapping hands out in front. Three, two. Here we go. Pull the lower 
core. Up and in. Beautiful. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your quads, which I know <laughs> are on fire. 15 seconds. Come on. We have eight. So, so strong. Beautiful effort. Come on. We have three. We have two. Rest. Jump squats with the crossover. I'm calling them jump squeezes. Two. Here we go. I'm barely going into a squat. I'm focusing more on the squeeze. Inner thigh work. Come on. Push. You have less than 15. Jump and squeeze. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Three, two, one. Break dancer. If you're really hating break dancer, go into single leg V ups. Three, two, here we go. Sneak it through. Tap, tap. Sneak it back through. Lay it down. Other side. Flowing. Don't get hung up on it. If you don't know it yet, you'll get it. Step through. 10 seconds remaining. Come on. Three, two, one. Very good. All right. Curtsy. In three, two, here we go. Now remember, you can step. It doesn't have to be springy. Or you can choose to kind of float. Less than 20 seconds. Come on. Push. You have 10. Come on. We have five. We have three, two, and one. Woo. Plank position. Three, two, here we go. Reach and tap. Try not to collapse into the shoulder or your low back. Gentle tap, slowing it down. We gotta get through two more rounds. About 10 seconds remaining. You can do this, come on. Can you push through your discomfort? We have three, two, one. I wanna see some jumps, okay? Doesn't need to be deep on the squat, but let's see a jump, two. Here we go. Squeeze, squeeze. Come on. There you go, Meredith, that works. 18 seconds. Come on. Inner thighs, squeeze them. Come on. 10. Push, we have five. We have three, two, one. Ugh. Great dancer. Single leg V-ups work. Three, two, here we go. Come on. 24 seconds remaining. Beautiful. Come on. Nice work. We have six. We have three, two, one. Curtsy. Going in three, in two. Here we go. Come on. How much discomfort are you okay with? What brings you right to your edge? Come on. 15 seconds. Come on, we have 10. 
seven, so strong. You can do this. Three, two, one. Oh. Three, two, here we go. All right, y'all, just one more round. We can do it. I know it's burning. I know we're tired already, but we're gonna push through. Let's get ourselves amped up to have our best finisher right here. 10 seconds remaining. We'll take a couple cleansing breaths when we stand up and get ready to go. Three, two, stand it up. Big inhale through your nose. Audible exhale. <sighs> Again. <sighs> Ready? Two, here we go. Come on. Jump and squeeze. There we go. Come on. <sighs> you got it. Let's go. 18 seconds. Come on. Every single effort counts. Come on. Six. We have three. We have two. And one. Great dancer. Final time for this one. Three. Two. Here we go. We flow right through. Come on. Full body movement right here. So strong. You can do it. 14 seconds. Come on. Smooth. We have five. We have three. Two. One. Curtsy. Three. Two. Here we go. Side to side. Trying to stay low. If you need to, of course you can stand. Sometimes I find this more challenging. Sometimes I find this more challenging. So take it where you need to. We have 10 seconds remaining. Come on. Push, push, come on. Three, two, one. Last time it's like, so strong. Three, two, here we go. Reach and tap, reach and tap. Come on. Push it, let's go. Come on. Just about 15 seconds remaining. Keep your elbows right on your shoulders. Nice work, you have 10. Lift the hips slightly. We have four, three, two, and rest. Oh yeah. Okay. Sweaty mess over here. So good. I love it. Okay. Let's reset this. We are now going into 45, 15. Where are you? Let's do, switch you up. Okay. Okay, so we have a couple combos. We're working for 45 seconds. We'll be resting for 15. What these combos are, we have two jump lunges into two push-ups. As always with your push-ups, drop to your knees if you need to. If you don't want to do the jump lunge, you step back, step back, hands to the floor, step back, go into your push-ups, okay? If you're doing the jump lunge, we drop down, drop down, step together, hop or step back into your push-ups, okay? Then we're going into two single leg V-ups, and then oblique V-ups. So you'll do two, two, and two. What that means, we're here. Reach, 
reach, turn yourself, reach, reach, turn yourself, reach, or we can go into a tuck, okay? Tucks are an option for all of that. So that is a pure core round, okay? We're then going into lateral raise, front raise, we'll do that twice, and then you'll be facing whatever way you need to face. Weights go to the floor, we hop or step, and we go into four crossovers. Hop or step, we resume. Front, side, it doesn't matter if we do what order, but okay. Final piece, sideways moving, beast crawl. So, remember beast is here, we step, 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 step. Now, most of the time when you guys go into floor work, I can't see you. So if you want to just do 10 steps one way and then bring it back, that's fine. You don't have to work in a small space like this, okay? All right, y'all. We're going to crush it. Yeah, this may be close to our last circuit. We might get in one other circuit after this, okay? Take it off in three seconds. Ready? Here we go. Two lunges, two push-ups. Three, two, here we go. Push up and push up. Step or hop back up and begin again. Pull the shoulders back for your push-ups. Core is on throughout all of this. Just about 20 seconds remaining. Come on. 15. Come on. Take it where you need it to go. Seven seconds. Come on. We have three. We have two. And one. 15 seconds. Setting up. Single leg V ups. And then oblique, oblique. Okay. Taking off. I'm going to turn myself a little bit. Two. Here we go. Single leg. Single leg. Turn. Oblique. Oblique. Other side. Come on. Back to center. Beautiful work. Turn, reach, reach, other side. Breathe. Take your time. No low back pain. Make sure you're protecting yourself. Remember, a tuck is always an option. Squeeze and lift. We have six seconds. Come on. Three, two, and one. Getting a set of weights. I'd say fives, eights, or tens. Taking off. Lateral raise first. Three, two, here we go. Lateral raise. Front raise. Again, lateral. Front. Weights to the floor. Get yourself in a plank position. Cross, 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 cross. Get yourself upright. Begin again. Lateral, front, lateral, front, weights to the floor. We cross, 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 cross. Once you've got the pattern, move through it. Come on, you've got this. Nine seconds remaining. Push, come on, you can do it. Three, two, one. Getting ready for your beast. Side to side. We take off. Knees are an inch above the floor. Three, two, here we go. So our goal is to stay up for 45 seconds. We don't need to move fast. What we do need to focus on is maintaining a nice flat back, hugging our shoulders down. If you had a ball or a stick, a broomstick on your back, it would not be rolling off. 20 seconds. Come on. 
Pull the lower core up and in. Push, push, come on. 10 seconds remaining. You're so strong. Don't you give up. Come on, we have five. We have three, two, one. So, so good. I didn't tell you this, but it's only three rounds. So we have two more. Jump lunges coming up next. In five. Taking off in three. In two. Here we go. Jump lunge, jump lunge. Two push-ups. Come on. Push. What do you got left? Come on. Hup. Beautiful. 20 seconds left right here. Come on. How about 10? Come on. Let's push. We have eight. Come on. We have three. We have two. And one. Core work. We're on our back. Nine seconds. Single leg, single leg. Two obliques per side. Three, two. Here we go. Turn and reach. Reach. Turn, repeat. I'd rather you focus on correct core engagement than rushing through these. You've got it, Melissa. Come on. 20 seconds. I think I just screwed up. <laughs> That's okay. It happens. Come on. We have 10 seconds remaining. Let's push. Come on. Two and one. All right. Lateral raise. Front raise. Twice. And then crossovers. Three, two, here we go. Lateral, front, lateral, to the front. Weights down, hop or step. We cross using our obliques, which we should definitely feel after that series right before this. Come on. Beautiful effort. Come on. Remember on our raises, we want the elbows to be our leaders. Don't let the palms lead. Think of strings pulling your elbows up. Six seconds left. Three, two, and one. Excellent. So, so good. 12 seconds. Getting ready for beast. You're doing such a great job. We go in four. Three, two, here we go. Come on. Back is flat. You want to get stronger in your core. You want to eliminate back problems. This is one of the ways. How stealth can you move? You want to learn how to brace your core. This is it. The back is moving all over the place. That means the core is not braced. Come on. Small steps help. Eight seconds left. Come on. We have three, two, one. There's sweat all over the place. <laughs> Feels good to be alive, huh? How amazing is it that we can do this with our bodies? Three, two, here we go. Jump, jump, two push-ups. Final round. Come on. Beautiful work. 20 seconds. Come on, don't give up. You can do this. 
Push, push. We have 10. Come on. You got it. Three, two, one, four, 10 seconds. Take it out in five. If you need to, hold a dead bug crunch. Here we go. It would make sense if you're entirely white and not able to maintain correct core engagement. Remember, modifications are not cheating. They are a key, a key to getting stronger. Come on. Push, push. 17 seconds. You can do this. Come on. Reach and reach. Beautiful turn. Come on. Reach. Almost there. We have four. Three, two, and one. Lateral front raise. That combo. Oh, woo. here we go. Three, two, here we go. Lateral, elbows lead, back to lateral, front. Weights to the floor, hopper step, cross, 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 cross. Here we go. Come on, so, so strong. 20 seconds remaining. You've got this. Come on. 10 seconds. Beautiful. We have four. We have three, two, one. All right, y'all. Final piece. Just our beast. This is it for us, okay? We stop after this. No more. Three, two, here we go. 45 seconds. You do not quit. There is no quitting. You're going to get stronger. You're going to feel more empowered. You're going to trust your body more. Come on. Breathe. Fuel your body. Come on. Calmness to your mind. So, so good. Trust yourself. You've got this. 15 seconds remaining. Step and step. Come on. I know it's hard. You're going to fight for it. Come on. You have six. You have five. Four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, it's evil shit. y'all for participating in that oh that evilness let's stretch a well-deserved stretch um let's get our side bodies because we did do we did do quite a bit of oblique work so we call this a shin box so i want you to come into a shin box just so you know, in a perfect shin box, both hip bones, both sit bones touch the floor. Right now, my left is not touching. It's a little lifted, but that's what we work towards. So from here, place your whatever leg is in front of you. We'll say in front, right? You're facing. Put that forearm on the floor. Reach up and over. Take an inhale. Go this way. Try to anchor that knee to the ground. Inhale to the forearm, big side bend. Inhale, up and over, exhale, one more. Inhale, over, exhale, reach. Inhale, anchor this knee to the ground, exhale. Before we totally switch, bring both knees up, hands behind you, sit up tall, internal rotation. So as you rotate one knee in, don't let the other one 
tip out. Keep one up. There we go. Now our goal over time is to get the knee to touch the floor. You will very quickly find out if your body does not want that to happen. If you get a sharp pain in your hips, you pay special attention to that and you respect it. Knowing over time, you'll get a little lower. Okay, setting up on the other side. Same idea, shin box. Again, goal is to get both sit bones on the ground. Bring this front forearm to the floor. Reach, inhale up and over, exhale. Anchor that knee to the floor. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Big inhale. Smooth, emptying, exhale. Inhale up one more time. Exhale. Very good. Let's get our hips. Figure four, seated, pigeon, whatever you want. I'm gonna do it this way. If you know a different way that feels better for you, go ahead and come into it. I am gonna turn sideways real quick. Rule of thumb is we don't sit like this, slouch, because it really doesn't do quite as much. So you wanna sit up nice and tall. When my hips are super tight, I actually end up lifting my hips off the floor so that I can maintain the length of my spine. That's how important that is. Let's go ahead and switch. Woo, that's a tight one. <laughs> so, so good today, ladies. Nice, nice work. Sitting up nice and tall, breathing. And relax. Final one, taking an arm across the chest, active pull. Trying to think if there's any announcements, and I think the only one is that Friday I took out the 10 a.m. and I'm gonna try 6.30 a.m. Um, just to give it a go, see if that works. Um, it's still gonna be hit. So Tuesdays and Fridays are the hit days. Always welcome feedback, last one, triceps. Kind of a quick stretch here, we'll switch, other side. Make sure you hydrate. That was like a really sweaty one. <laughs> Maybe put some Himalayan sea salt and lemon in your water. That's a, a natural electrolyte boost. And yeah, acknowledge the work that you just did because that was fucking amazing. You're amazing. Good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs>